This is the Tree and Texture Brush. It's a natural hair brush. It has a rounded shape and a cutaway edge here. So it's about 45 degrees cutaway. So when you hold the brush and stipple, the end of the brush comes in contact with the paper. So load the brush with color, push the brush into the paper and it creates a texture. Tree trunk, and then underneath, lift the brush up. So, just using the end of the brush and stipple some grass underneath. So, this is a very simple but very effective brush for creating texture for trees. If you're doing a, a shingle beach, you can just stipple that or a textured foreground. You can flick with the brush to get some more textures. Because this is a, a natural haired brush and it uh, opens up, it means you can get a very, very random effect rather than a uniform effect, which you, you would get with, say, a rake. If you use a piece of paper as a mask, you can stipple along the edge of the paper, creating some textures. There's some hedgerows, trees, there's another tree here. Change the angle. There's another field. And then back again. A very simple but effective brush for painting trees and texture.